My name is uh, Jim Speck. I'm a professor of agronomy and horticulture at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And today we're going to talk about uh, soybean water and specifically irrigation uh, use efficiency and uh, amount for timing of the yield. It used to be uh, producers would put uh, a lot of uh, irrigation on soybeans uh, early in the season, and that's the basis of the question they were asking is it really water needed that soon in the season? So we undertook some research sponsored by the local soybean board here in Nebraska. And uh, what we discovered was on silly clay loam soils, you can delay, defer irrigation, I should say, until what we call the pod elongation stage. That's when pods are form on the plants and uh, just before seed development. And uh, therefore, farmers can use the, the soil water reservoir instead of supplying it by, from their center pivots or the fair irrigation. The key advantage to starting uh, irrigation later in the season is that, uh, number one, you're not going to put an irrigation on and it rains the next day. We, we still haven't got the prediction down to the point where uh, we can predict when the rainfall is going to be because a lot of thunderstorm events in the summer are sporadic and they just pop up like popcorn. And so if you can avoid irrigation uh, and let the plants use the soil water there, then you're not risking putting an irrigation on and having Mother Nature add another inch or more to it. Uh, the other advantage is we feel that roots will go down and I mean, you get a better root system and a little less uh, top growth than leaf area. Soybeans produce a lot of leaf to begin with, and so if you irrigate too early, you get an ex exorbitant amount of leaf material, and it just makes them a little top-heavy later in the season when the thunderstorm can lay them down. We call that lodging. So we get and we get the benefit of those two things, plus uh, white mold is a disease that occurs in soybeans and requires a, a dying flower petal in order to germinate. The spore does on that, so if you're not irrigating, you're not getting it wet so you can avoid the risk of that disease as well. Our research has shown that Nebraska producers can get more yield bang for the buck of irrigation that they're spending, and, and they also get some benefits from the standpoint that there's more efficiency when you're getting three and a half bushels per acre for every inch you put on instead of two. And the other issue is, is that we get a better root system, a less uh, top-heavy um, canopy growth that gives us a little more protection against uh, having diseases like white mold come in and wipe you out.